Wazazi wa mwanafunzi mmoja wa shule ya Chogoli ya Gauss ambao alipoteza maisha yake katika ajali ya barabarani ambayo ilifanyika eneo la Kambiti katika njia ya kutoka Nyeri kuelekea Nairobi siku ya Jumamosi wameonekana kuomboleza kifo chake huku akisema kwamba walipatwa na majonzi walipojua kwamba mwanao ameaga dunia. Zui Karen wangu na ambaye alikuwa afanya mtihani wake wa KCSC mwaka ujao wazazi wake Lucy Mburu pamoja na bwana wake wamemtaja kama mwanafunzi ambaye alikuwa amejitolea na ambaye pia zaidi alikuwa mchangamfu zaidi. Pia dada yake mtaja kama mtoto aliyekuwa akipenda Mungu na pia zaidi alikuwa anamtukuza kila wakati I was feeling as if I was sick I went to, to the hospital just around and I told the nurse how I was feeling I was feeling that I have no power so we were not aware that our, our daughter died on the spot So we went to the hospital, uh, trying to inquire where they could be. I was called, and he went and I identified Karen. It was a very painful experience. We talked a lot with her. We shared many things, Our ambitions, challenges, and um, a lot of things. Karen was good. She was good. She was obedient. She was faithful. And she was very hardworking. Her hobby was actually dancing and singing. She was in the church choir mm. and most of the time she used to download videos of people dancing and she she danced most of the time. Za chache tu kutoka kwa kina Karen wangu ni kwa kina Joy Barnes na ambaye pia alipoteza maisha yake katika ajali hiyo na ambao inafahamika kwamba walikuwa marafiki wa dhati sana na Karen wangu kesi cha kwamba kabla ya ajali walikuwa wameketi pali pamoja. Familia yake Joy Barnes imemtaja kama mwanafunzi na ambaye alikuwa anapenda masomo yake na pia zaidi alikuwa amechitolea kwa maisha yake. It's full of life. So many things she wanted to do. God fearing and she was joy she she just had that joy in her uh the dad the mom uh devastated uh think they all need all the prayers and all the support wazazi wanafunzi wamekashuhu vikali dereva wa gari hii ya matatu ambao wamesema kwamba iwapo hakuwa na haraka walizo wangekuwa bandu wako hai i just wish drivers can be more careful not only during this christmas season i was thinking on my own if the driver goes just a bit cautious he could have waited he could have waited and to have a clear way to overtake he could have saved kweli ni habari ya kuzunisha sana hasa kwa familia iliyopoteza wanao katika jali hii ambayo ilifanyika eneo la Kambiti na tunaotakia kila laheri hasa wakati huu mgumu ambapo wanaomboleza kifo cha wanao ndio tu kwa sasa tupata tena kwenye video nyingine bye bye for